The Nun 2 centers on the return of Valak the Demon Nun, five years after its temporary defeat at the Abbey of St. Carta, at the hands of Sister Irene, Father Burke, and Maurice Frenchy Theoralt. Having escaped the Abbey within Frenchy's soul, Valak's now wreaking havoc across Europe and putting the young students of a French boarding school in jeopardy. Sister Iron is deployed to fight the demon again, and their battle reveals some pretty interesting details about Irene's backstory, which pull into focus how Valak has chosen its targets. The latter half of The Nun 2 introduces a new relic to the conjuring verse, the Eyes of Saint Lucy. Throughout The Nun 2, Sister Irene receives visions of the Mary trying of Saint Lucy, the patron saint of the blind, and of Valak's influence on those events as the fallen angel attempted to return to full power. She learns that Saint Lucy's eyes, imbued with divine power, were removed upon her death and hidden within the French boarding school, where the majority of the nun to action takes place, and that by acquiring the eyes, Valak would become unstoppable. Irene's visions reveal the eyes of Street Lucy and she recovers them, but during the final confrontation between Iron and Valak, the demon nun steals them for itself and goes super sanin, nearly martyring Iron herself by setting her ablaze in the process. Prior to this point, flashbacks to Irene's childhood had been detailing a foundational moment in her life. Her father had her mother institutionalized after she claimed that she had been having supernatural visions. As she's being burned, Irene realizes her abilities and her visions of the past mean that she's a direct descendant of Saint Lucy, and her understanding of that is one of the things that gives Irene the strength to overcome the demon nun in their final confrontation. At the moment of Irene's realization, images flashed before her eyes of her mother, Saint Lucy herself, and another woman implied to be a descendant of Saint Lucy, one who we already know full well has medium abilities, Lorraine Warren. The connection between the characters feels like a meta nod to something Conjuring fans have been intrigued by since The Nun's release. Sister Iron is played by Tessa Farmiga, younger sister of Vera, who plays Lorraine. Even though the events of The Nun movies take place 20 years prior to The Conjuring films, that fact alone had been enough to generate speculation on a familial connection between the characters. And that's before you take into consideration that Vera and Tessa bear a strikingly close resemblance to each other. There was even early speculation before the nun's release that Iron was actually a younger version of Lorraine, although information revealed about Ed and Lorraine's backstory in The Conjuring. The Devil Made Me Do It essentially quashes that possibility. Commenting on the shared lineage between Iron and Lorraine, Chaves told IGN, yeah, I think there's always been a desire for that connection, and obviously they look too close to be a coincidence. Honestly, I think that's part of the discovery of it, and I think there is definitely a thread there that is intentionally left a little bit open. While the powers of the Eyes of Street Lucy are not very clearly established, there's a pretty mind-bending moment from earlier in the movie that hints at what they're capable of. At one point, Sophie, one of the boarding school students, goes looking for her mother and opens a door, which opens to reveal this shot from The Conjuring 2. Irene swoops in to close the door for Sophie, saving her from this vision, which neither can quite comprehend. As you'll recall, this shot was from the perspective of Lorraine Warren and her daughter Judy, whose own clairvoyant powers are hinted at heavily throughout Annabelle Comes Home. As you notice, there's no post credit scene in the film. As for the Nun 2 mid credit scene, it's a brief, fairly nondescript tease for the next entry in the franchise, but there are some things of note worth calling out. Ed and Lorraine Warren get a phone call from their colleague in the church, Father Gordon, who's eager to send them on their next investigation. That's it. Still, there are a few things we can glean from this scene and whether it's setting up a potential The Nun 3 or the fourth mainline movie, The Conjuring, Last Rites, which is expected to be released in the next couple of years. First, the scene reproposes footage cut from Chaves, The Devil Made Me Do It, which was set in the early 1980s. 
With Ed and Lorraine aged up accordingly, it's safe to assume the Nun 2 mid credit scene takes place just prior to or after the events of that movie. That's further confirmed by the presence of Judy Warren. Although we don't see her face, she's clearly a teen and not the young kid we first met in the 1970s, set The Conjuring and Annabelle Comes Home. Until more is revealed about The Conjuring. Last rites, you'll just have to hope you're a descendant of St. Lucy and you receive a vision from the future. Let me know, it'd be great to get ahead of that ending explained.